Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem B from the latest code forces round 689 problem name find the spruce. Uh, so you can read the problem statement but in simple terms it states that you have to count a different number of spruce trees in the grid. Now what is a spruce? I'll tell you. Uh, these are the drawings, like drawings you can also understand. So spruce is like a tree in which uh, it's like a conifer tree in like in general if you know a spruce tree. So in which as you can see it's like a triangle. Uh, so as you can see if like it can be like a only one block like it can be like one and three blocks one three five blocks so it's like forming a triangle like a staircase pattern from both sides this cannot be like considered because there is no other half or this is also not considered spruce tree because there should be also one blo one, like one more block above also so as you can see these are valid spruces but these are not so you are given some grid with some stars and some like blank spaces and you have to count out how many spruce trees you can form like from these grids like maximum number of spruce trees you can find out so i'll draw some examples to even make it more clear so let's assume that or let's just draw it instead of this i'll just draw out some uh, like this only okay so let's assume that the star is zero okay i'm not drawing our star again and again but let's assume that the star is zero and that the blank spaces is the dot okay so how many spruce trees are here okay let's assume that if you are starting at this point and taking this point as the topmost point of the tree tree is always like a like a triangle you can assume if this is the topmost point then because a dot or a star only can also be considered as spruce so this only like star can also be considered as spruce and this can be considered as a spruce the other case can be uh, this can be considered because there is no downward tree so this is only considered this is considered this is considered so four points are considered individually and there is also one like this triangle so plus one so answer is five so like there are five uh, spruces I think. yeah same for other cases uh, but yeah like I hope you get the intuition how to find out the spruces now uh, let's like find out how to count out different number spruces uh, for this problem like I always like like tell my subscribers to draw the test cases always like you will always go get some pattern if possible like in many cases okay just draw out um like I'll draw out some spruce of height 3 let's do that okay what I've told you is let's count out that if you have this spruce like if you have this spruce how many total number of spruces like how many total number of spruce you will get if you find out this pattern only let's assume that you have some grid and this it only consists of this pattern this pattern only like there will be uh, like uh, empty spaces but don't like just ignore that just assume that you have some spruce like this how, how many trees you can count out how many trees are there in total so starting at this node this can be considered as only one node this can be considered as a tree and this can be considered as a tree so for this there are three trees starting at this point with this as a tip i hope you're getting my point what is a tip uh, this is a tip as you can see this is a tip this is a tip starting at this tip there are three trees now as you can see if starting at this tip this is only one tree this is like this node is only one tree then this can be considered as a tree so there are two trees same for this this can be considered and this can be considered so there are two trees and see for this for this it's one 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 and, and i hope you start getting a uh, seeing some pattern it's three two one it's like the level has some numbers which will tell us that how many spruce trees will be there below this okay now uh, the next thing can be what you can do uh, if you just remove out this star which which means that there is no star at this point this is an empty point uh, which means that there is a star like here these are empty points and this is also empty okay now as you can see for this there are how many trees you can form let's go from like bottom to up there's only one tree for this one 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 for this i can count out that there are two trees for this also there are th two trees but for this there is only one tree and now again for this like because there is no tree down there there's only two trees there which is like itself and this tree because this tree cannot be formed so now you can also see that if there is like we have to see how many nodes are between like you have to compare for with this node how many three nodes are there below it what is the number of that 
if you can find out that what is the level numbers for that nodes you can easily find out the minimum of them because see if there is no like there if there is no node there the value can be so you can initialize what you can do in the initial state because every node is one tree you can make every star equal to one so i'll draw this example so it's like a one two three four five one two three four five and then there are one two three levels so let's assume that i draw three levels then in the initial state what you can do you can make every star equal to one just like this and because there is no uh, like there is no star here so it's zero and it's like one 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 and one okay now again iterate from bottom bottom to up whenever you see a one like just count out the number of ones below it because this is the last line you can you should not do anything then you go from this to this, this point how many ones you have to find out the minimum among all of them all of these three for every node which is one find out the minimum among these three values because these three values will tell us like whether there is a number of nodes like what is the level because you are storing out the level in these nodes if this node will tell you like for this node also what is the number of nodes below it which has three stars because there is no node below it it's equal to one because this node is individually taken now if this node is one you will find out the minimum of them among these three because the minimum of them will give you the value itself that like, whether you can form out the next level with these three levels if there is like if the values are two two and this is zero again like or it's one again you cannot form a tree for this uh, the tree will be of one only i hope you get the point so what you can say you have to find out the minimum among all of the three values and then the minimum among all of the three values plus one because this tree is also considered will give you the next level value because as you can see if you find out the minimum among all of the three values plus one will give you the next node value and that's how we're going to fill the whole matrix for every matrix value if it is one we'll find out the minimum among all the three values which is like this and then find out the minimum among them plus one which will be which will give you the va like node value at this point so same for this and when you come at this point you find out that minimum of this is one one and zero which is zero because this node is not considered there's no start there so zero plus one which is one so this is one and these will become two same when you take out this value we'll find a minimum among them which is two two and one plus one so it will be two again it will not be three i hope you get the intuition how to solve this problem uh, it's it's just like drawing out this test case and i have also just draw this test case in my paper and then the like the intuition strike my head okay so i'll take on the code part now it's it, it becomes very intuitive to understand the logic uh so what i've done here is i'll just make a like um like a dp matrix to store out these dp values what is the value and in the end what you have to do here is because every node stores a number of trees starting at this point so you just have to add all the values obviously because see i have to count the number of trees start like which is having a tip at this point having a tip at this point having a tip at all the points so we just have to count all the number of trees so just count out all the values in the dp table so we just make a dp table and then initially we just iterate over the dp table and whenever i find a star i'll make it one which i've told you then we'll again iterate over the dp table from this bottom this point move like this because we have to iterate the last row then go to the top row because we have to use those like down values and also because even if there are star here we don't count it because there is uh, like if we count out all the values like because you have to count out three values this pointer will go out of bound same for in this case even if there are star at this point you don't have to count this star because this tree will go out of bound so just count for these values the like the last like the like the first column and the last column is not considered because you cannot form a tree height more than 2 like like the height more than 1 in the last like last column because uh, if you take out the last column uh, even if you form a tree like this then it will be like this tree like this triangle but this triangle will go out of bound so it will not form it can only form a triangle or a like tree of height 1 only so that's what i've counted earlier also the db table we have make this db table store the value so we just don't count out the last and the first column that's what i've started for the first and the last column we don't iterate over them we just iterate over the so we just iterate over the rows from the last row to the first row and don't iterate over the columns we just iterate over the second last column to the first last column like second column 
and then whenever you find out a one in the dp table just find out the minimum among the three values these so it is if this is the ith row you have to go to the i plus one row so i plus one row j minus one j and j plus one find out the minimum among all of them plus one this is the dp value and then you just store out all the values in the dp value and just output the total sum summation of all the values in the dp table and that's the answer i hope you get the intuition and the logic of this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down in the comment box i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye